Hi, I'm Ajay Sitra, Cloud Architect here at Otter. So a little bit of history to start. In the 1990s, Java Blueprints began as J2EE Blueprints at Sun Microsystems. The Java Pet Store was the reference implementation for J2EE design patterns. Now, the idea of a Java Pet Store came from Connie Weiss and Greg Murray, who were both animal lovers. So Java Pet Store became the symbol for J2E's ascendancy. So then what Microsoft did was they created a very compelling .NET pet shop uh, that uh, showcased their technology. So now onward to the present day, REST API and JSON. Uh, so, what Amazon does is that they host a publicly available REST API sample endpoint called the Amazon Pet Store API. And calling this API is free, of course, it's just a sample, and can be done easily from a browser or a REST client like Postman. So, the tutorial includes the link. You can take that link, put it into a browser. We're going to only be using GET requests here. And you will get back a JSON payload of three pets, ID number four, five, and six, and the type of dog and a price for each of them. Right? So notice that we have these specific query string parameters. Now we can do the same thing from Postman which is a developer uh, tool for making REST calls. So for example, I can come over here, I can set up my parameters, and I can go ahead and send the request and get back the exact same response that you saw on the browser. In the first tutorial, I'm going to take you through setting up an HTTP raw request card in Okta workflows. In the second tutorial, I go ahead and add to the query parameters that we put in in the first uh, tutorial of type and page, we add an authorization header with basic auth. Now, this API endpoint that Amazon provides is unauthenticated. If you want to set up your own API gateway and a simple authorizer to be able to test the flow, you can do so. Or you can still go through a tutorial with the same endpoint. And the Amazon Pet Store API just ignores the authorization header. Right? So what we would do is we would add an authorization header that looks very much like this. Basic and then some value. right? It's a base64 encoded username colon password. That's what basic authentication is. So if you make the call, it will still go through, or you can skip tutorial two. In tutorial number three, we focus on this response and we show you how to manipulate the JSON. For example, how can we extract just the price of the three dogs? Or how do we extract out the ID type and price for the first dog, ID number four? Or how do we just go ahead and loop through these three items? You can do the tutorials in sequence, one, two, and three, or you can just skip two and directly go to three. Have fun. It is great working with Octa workflows.